The Book of Second Timothy This epistle contains the last words of the Apostle Paul to Timothy. Timidity and shame were creeping into Timothy's life. Apostasy loomed big on the horizon. Paul's death was also imminent as he awaited execution. But in the very first verse, he talks about the promise of life in Christ Jesus. He doesn't play religion. He writes as though he were already in the presence of Christ. Paul affirms Christ Jesus as Lord in opposition to the blasphemous claims of Nero. Timothy once again receives grace, mercy, and peace from the Father and from the Lord. Paul deals with Timothy's issues of shame and fear, encouraging him to uphold the testimony of the Lord. He is reminded that God is not the author of fear, but he endows power, love, and a sound mind. Fear can lead to irrational thoughts and actions. Paul, therefore, stresses that suffering for the gospel is according to the power of God, not according to our ability. As a remedy for this irrational fear, Paul gives hope. Christ abolished the power of death once and for all on the cross. Until Christ's resurrection, death abolished everyone, but Christ brought life and immortality into plain view by the message of the gospel. For that reason, the apostle was not ashamed of Christ, and he knew with certainty in whom he believed. Paul offers assurance to oppose fear. The Christian life is based on sound words, along with faith and love, which reside exclusively in Christ Jesus. Not only do faith and love reside in Jesus, but also grace in its plentitude. Timothy is urged to be strong in that grace. When he is strong in the grace of the Lord, he will boldly teach the apostolic doctrine to others, endure hardship as a good soldier of Christ, perform like an athlete, and persevere like a hard-working farmer. He is assured that the Lord will give him understanding in everything, since the apostle would soon depart and be unavailable to aid in the ministry. He is reminded that even the Lord himself faced death in his human nature. Sufferings are not useless religious exercises, but are there for the sake of the salvation of many. Timothy is again urged to endure faithfully. Christ is the righteous judge who will award the apostle a crown of righteousness. All those who love his appearing will receive the same reward. Application The apostolic team seemed to come to disillusion with Paul facing execution and Timothy overwhelmed by shame and fear. We too, when burdened, feel hopeless and miserable. Still, Christ triumphs in our lives as he triumphed in Paul's and Timothy's lives. Paul revives Timothy's overall spirituality by reaffirming comforting Christological declarations, faith, love, and grace, which reside exclusively in Christ Jesus. Timothy had to refresh his understanding of Christ. So do we.